With miles of white sand, beaches, and tropical climate, the Dominican Republic is located in the heart of the Caribbean with historic Santo Domingo as its capital. It is here where Pantera Gold, an Australian mining company, has introduced new technology for the production of gold and silver that also significantly benefits the environment. The process used to treat the tailings at Las Lagunas is unique. It involves the reclamation of the existing tailings by dredging, concentration of gold and silver bearing sulfide minerals by flotation, followed by ultrafine grinding and sulfide oxidation using the Australian developed Albion process. Gold and silver is then extracted from the oxidized concentrate utilizing standard carbon in leach technology. Dredged feed to the plant is classified through a bank of cyclones which separate the material based on particle size, with fine material sent directly to the flotation circuit, while coarser material is directed to the ball mill. Following grinding and classification, the feed enters the flotation circuit through two conditioning tanks, one which receives fine material directly from the cyclones, which has bypassed the ball mill, and the other which receives material which has been ground by the ball mill. The two tanks allow the use of different flotation reagents for different particle size in the feed. The concentrate is then pumped to the ultra-fine grinding mill, which is the first stage of the Albion process. The Albion process is a combination of two technologies, ultra-fine grinding and oxidative leaching at atmospheric pressure. The oxidation of refractory sulfide minerals facilitates metal recovery using conventional extraction methods. Ultra-fine grinding is achieved through the use of an ice mill, a horizontally stirred mill that uses a series of rotating discs inside a stationary shell to circulate small ceramic beads as the grinding media. This is essential to the Albion process as it increases the surface area of the sulfide particles exposed to oxygen. The sulfide particles oxidize in the reactors producing acid and heat. Ground limestone, sourced from a quarry on site, is added to neutralize the acid and foam gypsum. Toxic elements, such as arsenic and antimony, are locked into precipitates in a stable, non-soluble form that can be safely redeposited in the tailings dam. Following oxidation, the slurry is transferred to an industry standard carbon in leach circuit. In this circuit, cyanide is added, which complexes with the gold and silver in solution. Gold and silver are then recovered by adsorption onto activated carbon. The carbon is stripped to create a gold and silver rich solution which is passed through electro-winning cells to produce a sludge which is filtered and dried, followed by melting to produce gold and silver doré. The doré is refined in Geneva and subsequently sold as high purity gold and silver. Pantera Gold is actively seeking ways to extend the five remaining years of the Dominican operation by importing suitable refractory concentrate that can be processed through the existing plant and stored in the Las Lagunas Dam. The commercial advantages of continuing operation would substantially benefit both the company and the Dominican Republic. Through local employment, engagement of service companies and profit sharing and royalty arrangements with the government, all Dominicans potentially benefit from the Las Lagunas operation. Mm -hmm.